Hi boys and girls. For this ALU activity, you're gonna to need to get out your weather around the globe rubric, as well as your two pieces of paper that should be stapled together by your teacher. One is a picture of labeling a map, which is this paper. And the other paper that's gonna be stapled to it is labeling a globe. So you need those two papers. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take a look at your rubric. On the very first box, our rubric says, I can explain that a globe is a model of the Earth. So we're gonna keep practicing learning what a globe is, as well as what a map is. Because if you hop over here to the expert column, it says, I can compare and contrast, that means you can tell the difference and tell what's the same, of a map and a globe. So we really wanna talk about maps and globes, figure out what's the same and what's different. If you come down to the last box on your paper of your rubric, it also says I can differentiate land and water features on simple maps and globes. And there's a box for land and there's a box for water. So in this activity, we're gonna be working on maps and globes, but we're also gonna be trying to figure out where is the water found on a map? Where is the water found on a globe? And where is land found on both a map and a globe? So like I said, these two pieces of paper are gonna be stapled together. So the first thing that you wanna do when you get them is you want to rip them apart, okay? Because we're gonna be cutting them. So we wanna make sure that we don't cut two pieces of paper at one time. Also, don't forget to write your name on both of the papers, on both of them. Now, I'm gonna come over here because I already have, I was prepared and I already cut up one piece of paper to save time. So you wanna also make sure that you have a pair of scissors and you also are gonna need a blue crayon and a green crayon. Can you take a guess why you need one blue and one green? Hmm, all right, I'll let you know why. After we're done labeling our map and our globe, we're gonna use those crayons to color. You're going to use the blue crayon and that's gonna represent water and you're gonna use a green crayon and that's gonna represent land on a map in a globe. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut all the way down that dotted line. Now make sure you're only cutting one paper at a time. Make sure you don't have another paper hidden under there. And on both the globe and the map paper, there are three boxes that you're gonna need to cut out. Now I already cut them out on the globe paper to save time. So one of the words says globe, one says water, and one says land, land. Your job is gonna be to label them in these boxes. Now I'm gonna let you know one hint. Whatever picture this is, is the word that you're gonna put in this bottom box. So I know this is a picture of a globe. I know that because it looks like it's a sphere. It looks like it's three-dimensional and a map is not three-dimensional. So I'm gonna find my word globe. Hmm, g, g, o, o, globe. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna get my glue and I'm gonna glue it right in that box. That lets me know that I'm labeling this as a globe. Let's take a look at the map paper. Hmm, these words say land, map, and water. Where do you think out of these three boxes the word map would go? Remember, it goes down in the corner, okay? Now these other boxes have arrows that are pointing to something. You should have just watched a video that helped you teach about water and land. Remember, anything that looks kind of like little islands, that's all land. And all of the other stuff is water. So you're gonna go ahead and label these two. I'm gonna let you try to figure out where the land and where the water goes. Once you've glued those down and written your name, you're gonna get your crayons. 
Now down here it says water is blue. So you're gonna take your blue crayon and wherever there's water, you're gonna color it all in blue. All right? Now the green crayon is gonna be used for land. So I want you to tell me where is land on a globe? Where is land on a map? And you're gonna color it in when you're all done. Make sure before you start coloring that you ask your teacher to make sure that you glued your labels in the right spot. Okay, boys and girls, have fun.